Hello, welcome to Math and Zone with Python. And uh, today we are going to see how we can determine the strength of associations uh, between variables involved in your cross tab. So, in the previous video of the chi square test for independence, we discussed two main things the chi square test and the expected frequency count. But the chi square test only shows if there is an association existing between the variables involved, but it doesn't measure the strengths of that association. So in this video, we are going to learn on how we can measure the strengths of association uh, using the Kramers V statistic. For a 2x2 two two contingency table, a Kramers V statistic ranges between minus 1 and positive 1. And for larger tables, it ranges between 0 and 1. So let's implement this using the uh, Python and uh, I'm going to use the same data uh, that I used in the previous video and the function which I'm going to use today is uh, quite different from the previous one and this function is richer in computation than the previous function the previous function we computed everything independently but this function it gives us everything at once because it can compute the cross tab, the chi square test, and the expected frequency counts all at once. So uh, this function is called the research by, and uh, we import that function, and also we are going to use the panda, and uh, the data frame, as I said, I'm going to use the same file. For those who didn't check the previous video, let's print this file and see. So these are the variables into this data file and uh, we are going to uh, check the same association and uh, here is how we can call the output uh, so the research by function basically it creates a cross tab and also compute the chi-square test and the expected uh, frequency counts so uh, inside this function you just put the two variables which you need to check for the uh, association and then you write the test statistic which we are going to apply which is the chi-square statistic and then because we want also the expected frequency or counts then we command this expected frequency uh, as true and the, this margins to false because the margins basically give us the sum across the variables in the contingency table. So after calling uh, this function and uh, uh, filling in your variables and uh, restricting some other uh, keywords, then you can uh, print out the cross tab, the chi-square statistic, uh, or the chi-square test, and the expected frequency. So I'm going to stop this printout of the data and uh, run this. You can see the output here. This is the cross tab. This is the chi-square test for independence. And below here we have the uh, expected frequency count. And in this chi-square test for independence, you can see we have the Pearson chi-square uh, statistic, which is this value, the same as in the previous video. And its corresponding p-value, which is this one very small, and below this table, we have this Kramer's V statistic, which is uh, a point of our interest for today's tutorial. So from this research by function, you get the information about uh, whether the variables have an association or not. And also, it gives you the strengths of that association. So you can see this function is more better compared to the previous one. So the interpretation of the Kramer's V statistic is you can see here so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video until the next time goodbye